mistakes were made. This is my new Port 11 freshly built from a vintage Comet kit. And it's my first biplane, scale biplane, that I've ever built. Um, I've built quite a few airplanes before, but never a scale biplane. I really didn't foresee the um, tail heaviness issue that I was going to run into. I kind of, I kind of, you know, in my mind, kind of knew, but didn't really admit it to myself. And I don't think I made the tail light enough. I, I tried to shave down the, the rear end as thin as I could get them. But not thin enough. I think I could have gone further. And um, there were a few things that I would change on the next one. My next my next biplane, I think I'm going to do a Gwillows. May, I may even do the Gwillows Newport 11. Um, it's an airplane I really like, the Newport Babe. You know, it's like a... There's quite a few home-built Newport Babes out there, I found out, too. But... Uh, um, a couple of things I will change. I would change. I would change. On the if you ever get one of these kits, the paper they give you for this graphic. Eh, when I when I first made the rudder, it weighed two and a half grams. When I added the paper, it weighed five. So I think decals or paint could be a better option there. Um, um, I would also shave the. Uh, the tail surface is down to an absolute minimum absolute minimum the cowling is covered with paper here i would go ahead and change that and deck it with wood on the next one um that's where all your 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 weight is going to wind up I, I put bb's in there i got 16 bb's in there and uh if you look really close you can see where the bb's are sitting in the paper I use wood glue to attach them. I don't know if you can tell it in this light, but you can you can actually see the BBs through the paper, and and the paper's all wavy, and it just it, it, it if the model really needed to save the weight there, I would say go ahead and use the paper, but it doesn't. It needs as much nose weight as you can possibly give it, so go ahead and deck it with wood. It's you're much better off decking that with wood. Um, I'm going to show you the uh, my nose block arrangement. The plans don't give you any nose block information. So this is what I came up with. The center hub pops out. And I've got two, two very thin dowels that go in and line up. And that works out pretty good. And that works out pretty good. Um, presently, I'm pow powering it with uh, one loop of one eighth, and um, and the loop is is just slightly longer than the airplane. Uh, it's braided. Um, it's really not enough. It's really not enough uh, with with the with the with the little, with the weight level. That the plane is at right now it's it's just below 26 grams which is quite a bit for a 13 incher so uh today we took it out for the first test flights and uh without further delay here we go Well, that was none too impressive, but the model was a challenge to build and I did learn a lot. And in the end, I wound up with a pretty good looking model that I can be proud that I built. So in the end, what would a fabulous day at the field be like without a flight from the fabulous Finch? See you guys.